people in Seabrook and Hampton marvel at Mother Nature's impact on their community. It was wild, absolutely wild. And this is the first time I've ever seen it this bad. A walk down the beach in Seabrook will show you what the last nor'easter left behind. The broken boardwalk lined with caution tape, a snap deck barely holding on, a flagpole leaning on a third floor balcony, and sand dunes half their normal size. This end of the beach is harder hit than that end of the beach because the water's right there. It's pretty well, you know, been decimated in the sense that hopefully over time it'll start rebuilding itself. Some believe the sand dunes, or lack thereof, played a big role in the amount of damage. We were saved, but we were only saved because we have a dune in front of our house. Some people seem to take them down because they think um, it's nice to have that, you know, flat area, but the sea dune really protects. Some of them uh, may have had a little bit of uh, um, work uh, removing some of the seagrass, and that's important to keep in front of your house. And now they brace for another nor'easter. Well, I don't know how bad it's going to be. Um, I have half a dune left, and I hope it holds up. It's part of being in a you know, hardy New England or on the coast. Now all this community can do is wait and see what the next nor'easter brings. In Seabrook, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.